Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today this is gonna be a slightly complicated episode but basically we're gonna do a tour about our car. Yes, this is actually, uh, actually it's not a car, it's more like a train. Anyways, anyways who has one job of keeping the text? They need, they need my editor needs something. Anyways, go back. Scrap Mechanic again. It's been a while since I posted Scrap Mechanic videos, but here I am in a very complicated train. Anyways, if you don't know, um, a few things have changed. Um, more things have changed. I guess uh, you can call too many things have changed. Anyways, um, from a new person's perspective, this would look pretty cool, but um, in actuality, it's just pretty average to the scrap mechanic player right now, and so, that, so that's why from now on, I'm gonna try to be improving this train more. Anyways, like you can tell, this train is pretty complicated by the lag. Uh, anyways, let's start the door. So, basically what we have here are doors, and they're actually linked to this um, warning caution sign. So if you basically have one of the doors open, the red, light, the red light will just show up, and it'll just warn you. So, better keep all doors closed. Follow the safety instructions. Also, we have a few chairs here, and... Um, also have this thing just if you want to add or you need to edit some I guess you cannot hit the button. It might be a little bit unsatisfying but do with it. We'll get used to it. So anyways um we'll get to the controls of the train later. Currently it's in autopilot mode. But for now let's get to the wagon. There are like three wagons in here. Alright, you can see I have a pretty interesting door set up. That's a very interesting door set up. Um, we have this guard railings, they don't do much. And oh! Oh, hello train! We, we also have another train running. Um, uh, yeah, that's uh, conveniently we have another train. Don't mind what's on the side of it. Just Anyways, let's start. So we have a sliding door, which is pretty normal. Now, we get to the very good part, the, the cool part. We have seats in here. Why? Is this level three? No, oh, I'm not supposed to. They're level four, they're just level four. Um, just the inspiration I got from one of Scrapman's videos where he's doing like a uh, workshop hunters and he came across a bus that has a bunch of these uh, chairs and so I took that inspiration and make it improved it and put it into a train so you kind of get these uh, higher class seats where they have a little bit of privacy a table something to drink dog etc and if you don't know there's lots of other features if we, if we do this this doesn't do anything this adds extra lights especially when it's nighttime this is a sunroof uh, let's put it for now and the other one have a very No, that's the wrong hammer. <laughs> what? But I'm not. Well, I wasn't even aiming at that hammer. Anyways, um, if we continue. If we continue here. We continue. Close. And if we continue. You see, there's a lot more wagons. Lots. A lot more locomotives. Um. Going through a train city right now. I forgot who's the name, but actually available. I got it from the workshop, and 
But anyways, here it is. We reached the end. Um, yeah, that this is basically the end. This train is pretty long. Oh, let's get back in. Basically, this is pretty cool in my opinion. But now, let's race through these things. It's time to race through the doors. This is much faster in real life because you don't need to pushing buttons. Um, yeah, you don't need to be pushing buttons, but in real life you can just slide the door. And anyways, um, here we are back at the front of the train. And now, what are we gonna do is we sweep the door. The door. Alright, so type the controls. This is the sh channel of the, uh, the show statistics. See, when I press random buttons, see everything in here changes, including that speed thermometer. For now, let's leave it like uh, this. Alright, so, oh, we have the tools, backup tools, in case anything breaks. And then we can use that tools in handy. And if we go in the seat, see we have a lot of speedometers. Uh, if we look down, you can see the, the speedometers are visible. But if I just look up uh, straight into the horizon, they aren't invisible anymore. So that's why we have these ones, just in case. But like this, you can still do that. Well, yeah. We also have a bunch of other speedometers. We also have different speed modes. With this being slowest. Now, originally, this the third lever is used for like autopilot, but for like for a train that's pulling three wagons, this will be too slow of any use. So that's why we have the primary speed. And now the second one is a booster that boosts us. Anyways, and the next is just autopilot, and it's just used to be autopilot, but uh, anything that you can go really fast without, you know, uh, running over, then that's basically, yeah. And now for the fourth lever, it's the brakes. And so you can slow down and, oh, right at the train station. Actually, that's kind of, that's kind of unscripted. I, I did not expect that. Anyways, for the fifth one, so that's just train noises. Sixth one is yeah, front lights. Front lights. You're gonna shine front, especially when it's nighttime. This will be pretty effective. Now for seven is basically like six, but this time it's indoor lighting. And now for eight. This is another, this is other engine stuff. And yeah, that's basically it. Basically it on the controls. This one is slightly different. This one, I don't know what this is. Okay, I, okay. Yeah. This one is just, I don't know, random noises. And then, yeah, let's just hit the end. Oh, hold up. Are these lights on? Yeah, let's just, let's just turn everything back on. And yeah, it's pretty much it about my train tour. Oh, and also, also. Oh. Train is just gonna be whooshing by the train station. And also you can see the lights out into the train yard but oh wait look, wait 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 a second wait come back wait come back uh, um oh no 